Hey guys, this is Royal Buster here with another Clash Royale video for you. Uh, right now I'm going to be talking about some of the holiday offers and why they are really good to take advantage of. Just look at the holiday offer. I mean, $5 and it takes 380 gems normally to get that kind of chest and it's five dollars to get 500 gems but if you do this you get 1200 gems plus a giant chest in whatever arena you are in same goes well with the magical chest and super magical chest i you should go ahead and do the super magical chest if you have twenty dollars and the magical chest if you do have ten or five whatever i recommend you guys go ahead and try and get that twenty dollars but if you can't do any of them, it's okay. I'm gonna possibly maybe be doing this super magical chest. Maybe not today, maybe in a little video. Um, the super magical chest you get uh, for $20, it's 6,500 gems. And one super magical chest. Um, 6,500 gems will get also get you another super magical chest if you wanted to. And let me see how much you can get for $20. Uh, and as you can see, for $20, you would normally only get. 2,500 gems and now if for fifty dollars you would get six thousand five hundred for here you get twenty and you get six thousand five hundred and a uh, super magical chest um i think that maybe is about it for today um well not for now not for today um uh, let me check out uh, something out even the clan chest I don't, I don't really understand how this works like I, I'm, I'm a little confused on how this works. If you guys do know how this works, I'm probably going to be figuring it out soon. Once I get to this, I'm going to be doing a custom tournament. I have uh, 100 gems. I'm going to be doing a custom tournament. I'm going to put it in my video, so you hurry, must hurry up, watch the video, and join the tournament. And let me know what your name is down in the comment section so I know who you are. Um, let me just uh, check these really quick. There we go. We're going to go ahead and do one live battle with this deck here. It used to be my... I have uh, three, two really good decks. It's going to be this one right here. I love this deck. It's really good for just li quick little pushes. It's a 3.0, but it's really good. And this one is just a full-out strength deck. So, But I really like this one a lot, like I said. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Maybe, maybe this video we might be able to go ahead and get that crown chest up there. If we can get that amount of uh, three crowns. So let's go ahead and try this out. Okay, we're almost, almost, almost in Royal Arena. Let's, almost in Royal Arena. So, and everyone using the spawner deck, it's so annoying. The spawner decks are really annoying, and I, it's, it's so annoying. Um, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and throw that, the hog, Maybe a zap. Also some minions behind that. Now, that did a decent amount of damage. Wasted a lot of our elixir. But I can go ahead and drop a Valkyrie when they get close enough. Oh, crap. Okay, well, that hurt us really bad. I'm going to drop a Valkyrie there, you know. And then I'm going to drop some goblins down there. Those gobs will just go to work taking down that giant right there. As you can see. Right there, barely did any damage. I'm going to go ahead and drop. Oh, freezing. Oh, man. Okay, well, I'm sure you guys can see this. It just froze. That is really upsetting. Okay, uh, Wi-Fi issues again, guys. Why? Why, why, why? I can see he's placing a witch. This is so fast, and it's freezing. I need to place the cannon there. Oh, man. Ouch. Ow, he just took my tower. I can't place any cards. I can't place any cards. Wow. Did you guys ju did, did you guys just see that? Whoa. Did you, did you guys just... Did you just... Whoa, my God. Okay, well, it doesn't look like we're going to be winning this battle because the lag just won us over, and that hurt so bad. So we're going to go ahead and try and make an ultimate. Screw your giant. Screw your giant as of a matter of fact. Screw your giant. 
We need to take a tower in these last 30 seconds. Doesn't I don't think we're going to. This might be an end game here. Hopefully we can do better in the next battle. I'm just gonna go ahead and let this guy three crown me. You know what? No, you will not three crown me. I will not let you. Go over there. Valkyrie drop there. That there. Get out of here. Drop in mine. No. Giant. 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 No. 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 I refuse. I'm not letting you. No. No. You can get out of here. Get out of here. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Not. No. No. Oh my god. Can you guys see how close that was? Oh my god. Seriously, another 30 trophies gone. Man, that just hurt so bad. Jesus. All right. Let's try another live battle here. Today we're versus level 8. Now hopefully there's no lag here. I'm just going to hope that there won't be any cuz the lag just will kill you. My usual push i usually drop a valkyrie a hog and then i'll usually drop some gobs and some fire spirits and i'm gonna just go ahead and just be like some zap that stuff out of here my hog rider can get one hit nope nothing that hurt so much now let's grab this now that is just so disappointing. Come on, gobs, get in front of the minions. Oh my god, you. That zap really hurt us. He's barely done. He has so much elixir, I'm assuming. He's probably got like 10 elixir right now. While I'm sitting here stuck at 5. That's what I'm sure is going on right now. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead. I don't even, I don't even want to drop anything. Because I'm sure if I drop something, yeah, if he would have dropped that bomber. I might try and get a deck and work in the bomber because the bomber is very good. I'm going to say that right now. Well, it should have rerouted the hog rider for me doing that. I'm not placing anything. He's going to zap that out. Okay, so he won't zap out unless I place my gallop. I just want to see if he's going to zap those out. Then I'm going to throw some fire spirits behind that Valkyrie. Boom, boom, boom. Doesn't look like we're going to win this battle anymore either because both of the people we versed have indeed had uh, the bomber. And the bomber really just hurts me. I assume he's still got his zap, so I'm going to just try not to spam. Yeah, that's a r another reason why I didn't want to, like, spam my troops. Because, ouch. Alright, well this battle did not go so well. So let's just go ahead and try and make another deck with the bomber in it. Because the bomber seems to be doing very well against people right now. Well, against me right now. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe try and make a bomber deck. Seems that people are always having a cheap deck when they're using the bomber, so maybe I'll go with a cheaper style. Oh, sweet, level 7. So maybe I'll go with a cheaper styled deck. Always get that zap in there. I need to upgrade that zap. Uh, I need to upgrade that bomber as well. Um, I still need, I feel like I need a big tank in there though, because I don't really, I don't really enjoy the spear goblins as much. But because I have already the bomber, the spear goblins might be nice to have in there somewhere. I don't know. But I do need a tanky troop. Uh, that's not... Oh, it is a cheap deck, so maybe I can go one thing that's expensive. Um, hmm. Maybe I'll go with the peck 
guy here, you know. And wow, a anything with a P.E.K.K.A. in it and it's a 3.1, that's pretty good for me. Um, I think that might be the deck, but that's really cheap. I'm maybe th gonna try and throw a wizard or something in there, because I don't think I have anything for Splash. The Bomber, Fire Spirit, that one can kind of handle it, and as that. Uh, so I don't really need the wizard. I guess I would actually probably take the wizard over all of them. No, maybe I grab the witch, because the witch can spawn those skeletons too, so. Um, I have no idea what to do right now. Um, Pekka and Mini Pekka in the same deck. I don't really know if I need it, because I got a heavy hitter, but that's a mini heavy hitter. hitter. So, uh, maybe I'll take out one of the goblins. The melee goblins can go with the mini P.E.K.K.A., but so can the spear goblins. Let me go ahead and compare them real quick. Uh, what level? Six and level six once again. Okay, well they have more hit points. And they do less damage. They do more damage. And so I'm going to go ahead and swap out the witch for the regular spear goblins. And I'm going to go ahead and try a battle maybe with that deck. Hopefully this battle will go well. If it does, maybe I'll do another one. But if it doesn't go well, I think I'm just going to go ahead and uh, stop in the tracks here. And maybe try and make a different deck. And maybe do another video. But let's see how well this deck works. But it may just be trial and error, you know. I'm going to try and find my third deck. You always want to try and see if you can find three decks to help you out. Because it's always nice to have, at, I mean, at least two. Now he throws a rocket that does eh, decent damage on my P.E.K.K.A. Not, okay, well that was a perfect bomber because, yeah, that would be really good. So, go ahead and do that. I still have the bomber in there, right? Oh, I don't have the bomber, but I do have the mini P.E.K.K.A. going in there. Well, boom, boom, and some fire spirits. So that was pretty good for me. Um, I don't really like the spawner though. I think I need to get a fireball or something in this deck to really, really, really just improve it that much. I'm thinking that in order to really improve this deck, I'm gonna need some type of a fireball or something. Cause the bomber is just not enough in order to keep that. So I'm gonna drop a knight. And that knight there will be my tank, because the bomber seems to be doing really well. As long as it doesn't shoot my bomber, and it did. So that hurt me really bad right there. Um, my witch went to town a little bit, and her skeletons did a, some pretty good damage right there. But... All I'm bursting right now are spawner decks. So I'm going to have to try and find a compromise for the spawners. And it doesn't look like a maybe a spawner versus spawner type thing. I'm not quite sure. I'm gonna zap that. Now he does have, and this is where a fireball will be coming in handy. For I mean, for the spawners. And indeed, for I mean, for everything, it'd be nice. Now I think he. Oh no, he got that rocket, but he didn't hit my tower. So maybe that was a little better than I thought it was. Now I'm gonna drop a witch over there. Now that's gonna go ahead and maybe take out that minion horde. No, it's not. All right. Well, I'm gonna drop some spirits and some goblins to finish them off. Alrighty, well that's end game. Sorry about that, guys. I'm gonna try and add a fireball in this deck, and then maybe I'll tweak it a few times, you know, do some live battles. But this is going to be the end of this video. Um, please like, please subscribe, show those likes and subscribes, and even comments to show me some love. Thank you, guys. This is Royal Buster out.